On this episode of Gussied Up, we're gonna make strawberry almond cake. That was a cake that my grandma always made for us. In fact, it's my earliest memory of a birthday is a strawberry cake. I was probably six. Who's ready to gussy it up? I'm ready to gussy it up. Before we get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This is one white cake mix. Now, we need to gussy up, right? So we're not just gonna ever make the cake mix just like it says on the back. We're going to add flair to it. So my grandma's cake had fresh strawberries pureed and put in as our liquid. That's what we're gonna do. You're looking for one and a half cups of liquid for this recipe. So it's gonna be about a cup of strawberries and then about a half a cup of milk. If you don't have any milk, you could use all pureed strawberries. If you don't have strawberries, well then it's not gonna be a strawberry cake. Okay, so I'm putting this into my little chopper and you just puree this up. Boom, look at that. Strawberry juice flavor. I'm adding in a quarter cup of almond flour. I always add in a little bit more drying ingredients to a cake mix to make them a little denser. I think it makes them feel like they're homemade. Just give that a little whisk. Now we're gonna add in all of our wet ingredients. Three eggs. That's the amount that it says on the back of the box. If your box says something different, use a different amount. This is a third a cup of vegetable oil. That's two teaspoons of almond extract. Now we need one and a half cups of liquid. So we had eight ounces of strawberries that we blended up and then we fill it up to a cup and a half with the milk. And now we just whisk. So as you can see, we didn't just make a traditional cake mix. We gussied it up. Let's get that gussied up counter started, y'all. How many times do you think I'm gonna say gussied up? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this channel. Give us a comment on what we should make next time we're gussying up recipes. Now, let's bake. This is an eight inch cake pan. We're just gonna spray these little bad boys, just kinda lightly so nothing sticks. And then you put your parchment in there. Now, evenly distribute your cake batter. It's a pourable batter. I just kinda eyeball it. Looking at these, looks pretty good. Let's bake them. If you have convection bake on your oven, bake on convection, 350 for about 25 to 28 minutes, just until the center is set and the edges start to pull. Those need to cool completely. Completely, completely. While our cakes are cooling, let's make the frosting. This is a cheesecake icing. It's different than a cream cheese icing. It has a lighter, more like true to a cheesecake flavor. This is 16 ounces of cold cream cheese and a half a cup of granulated sugar. Using a stand mixer fitted with your whisk attachment, just beat those two things together. One teaspoon of almond extract and a half a cup of cold, heavy cream. At first it might look a little soupy, it's totally fine. Just keep going with it. I swear to you, it's gonna come together and be gorgeous. One eighth of a teaspoon of red food coloring. Just pour that in. If you don't wanna use food coloring, you don't have to. I just think it makes it look cute. And we are ready to ice a cake. Fill a piping bag with half of your icing. These have completely cooled. If you want it to be totally foolproof, put them in the freezer, because they will ice like a dream. Look at that. Now, this is our little piece of parchment paper. It lifted right out. So the first thing, spread a thin layer all over the top of the cake. To bump up my strawberry flavor, I'm gonna fill this with strawberry preserves. I have to put a very, very thin layer of icing down first, and then I'm gonna pipe around the outside a dam so that my jam doesn't squirt out. This is preserves, this is not strawberry jam. We're gonna put about a half a cup into the center. Now, to turn this out, I'm gonna put it on my hand and lift it out gently, gently to place the cake. And then we just lift off. All along the sides, there are like a little bit of crumbs coming off. I put on a crumb coat, which is a thin layer of icing all over the entire cake. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now the top is flat and I come in with just icing right at the tip of my straight spatula and I do onto the sides. And I kind of give it a little, a little wiggle. See how many crumbs are in there? That's why we crumb coat, so that that doesn't end up all in our cake all over. So what I'll do is I'll pick a little spot of my bowl and then just pick it back up. Again, just on the tip. This is why Lazy Susa makes it so easy because you can kind of hold your spatula in place and you move the board. 
A little bit squeezes out from where we layered it. Looking good. Just working this guy around, making sure that everything is coated. Liking it. It's gussied up. Now, throw it in your refrigerator to let that get nice and cold. 20 to 30 minutes, okay? We bring out a cold cake. Now, that it's nice and firm, you can come in and spoon ice. It was called spoon icing because you would kind of put it on and then you would end up with these kind of swirls and whirls. So you really get this look that is very decadent and it's very rustic but really makes you wanna dive into a cake. It's my favorite way to ice. And know that any imperfections are fine. Homemade is never perfect. And we're not about perfection, we're just about gussying y'all. I give it a swirl, and then I come back. What? So don't worry about any imperfections because we are gonna decorate this. We have gorgeous little almond. Put them in your hand. You can kind of just layer it on there. Anything that falls off, you can shake it off. So we kind of have it almost all the way around the cake. now. To decorate, we're just gonna slice some strawberries, nice and thin. And you just kind of, we'll put a few on there. Oh, they're so cute, strawberries. Maybe I'll dust on a couple of almonds. Rustic is best because it looks like real food. Look at that. Labor! Isn't that the friendliest little strawberry almond cake you've ever seen? She's just such a looker, y'all. She's just so gussied up, right? You just started as a cake mix, put some preserves in the center and gave you a cheesecake frosting, and girl, you are gussied up. I love it so much. You can see that the almond meal and the strawberries inside of that cake mix really gave it a much more homemade texture. And then the preserves inside of there are just this vibrant little strawberry bite that we didn't have to do anything with. Let me know how much you love this recipe in the comments below. And if you make this recipe, please share those photos. I cannot wait to see your gussied up strawberry almond cake. I'll see you next time when we're gonna be gussying up Another old time classic, or maybe not old time classic, we're just gonna gussy something up. Mm. I'm gussied up, you're gussied up, she's gussied up, huh, huh. I'm gussied up, you're gussied up, she's gussied up, huh, uh. Mm. I'm gussied up, you're gussied up, she's gussied up, uh, up. Uh. I'm gussied up, you're gussied up, she's gussied up, uh, up. I'm not rapping. I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it. Wait.